guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bringing to episodes 44 and 45 of Yes, Pretty Care 5. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 44 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, I hate allergy season so much. It's either that or just something is effing up. It's not COVID because I don't have any other symptoms. And I've already, like, got vaccinated. <laughs> but yeah, she can still get it again. No, 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 no. She's just doing her own thing for today. Yeah, I can still smell that. What else are you going to do? You literally have no other options, ma'am. I don't know, right? Oh, honey. No, don't say that. Oh. Kinda in a way.
True. <laughs> yeah, it, it's more nose than mean. Complicated. She can be a little irresponsible at times, but you know, when it's time to get it done, she's there. Yeah, you know her. <laughs> you close. She never gives up, no matter what comes her way. Well, you've met her. <laughs> You'd be like, how the heck? Oh my god. Of course she does. Running around looking for milk. Hmm. <sighs> 
But damn, who the heck is stomping on the stairs like that? But see, the question is, has she already used Well, no, I don't think she's used it yet because she would be different, you know? And plus, she's getting her butt handed to her, like, so quickly. No, baby. Oh. God, she's really in her butt handed her this week. So, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, but I, honestly, you were getting your butt handed to you, so you look a little desperate, so just take it. Wait, I mean, because seriously, what else was he going to do anyway?
That's a caretaker for you. <laughs> Poor babies. I, I can't imagine getting scolded for reading a book. <laughs> I mean, I remember like when I was a teenager and I binged. Four hours, which was crazy. I I, I didn't think because I was like uh, my my mom asleep. I had nothing else to do, and I was a little bored. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and read, and kept going and going and going. And then that Sunday, because it was like I think Thanksgiving week, um, th yeah, Thanksgiving break, and I just read, and I kept reading it. <laughs> Which was hilarious because I was like, bruh. <laughs> but oh, oh my god, poor baby. Like, you gotta love milk no matter what. I mean, in the beginning of this episode, thinking that she was not the greatest caregiver, and then by the end, she's like literally scolding the crap out <laughs> That's it, Coco. <laughs> it's so cute. I mean, seriously, the fact is that all the rest of the girls was literally explaining that, yes, Nosemean is the one that they all go to at the end of the day, even though, like, yeah, there's some things about knows me. You're like, really? Is she really like that? Like, yeah, like really. When you, at the end of the day, when you literally just sit down and look at knows me as a character, she is all those things and more. She's a great leader, and that's the one one of many things why I love love about her so much. And she's just interesting and she's fun. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Yes, yeah, she's a little like. Mm, can be stubborn sometimes, a little klutzy, but that's okay. One of the many reasons, once again, why I still love her. Oh my god. Oh. The babies are fighting. Oh. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 45. Okay, episode 45 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm-hmm. I know, right? Like, dang.
Yeah, it's hitting you pretty hard. Oh, my God. Oh, oh baby boy. Honey. Because he doesn't want to leave her. Like, oh. God, I can't. This is too much. <laughs> I need to check something real quick. And it's not loading up for me. Oh my god. That's a good question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, kings never really get the day off. They're always busy. Unfortunately. Because he was bored. He had no other thing to do. I mean, come on now. It was her time to go. And you got a problem with that? <laughs> Woo, that 
bad look. Of course not. Mm-hmm. Of course. She's not so. This is no zooming we're talking about. Yeah. Which you're not, of course. Good. Just thinking about something else right now. I mean, he just come in out of nowhere like, damn, you can't knock on a door or something.
Yeah, in the end, you just gotta worry about yourself. Mm-hmm. Hesitation about the fact that Nuts and Coco and Milk are gonna have to leave. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it is. It's written all over your face. Hmm. And talk to her.
Poor baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, this just makes me so excited to see Tropical Rouge's Christmas episode. I mean, because even though we still in October, and I'm so ready to see the Halloween episode, the Christmas episode is going to be so good. <laughs> yeah, because if he didn't, who knows where he would be now? Because, see, in a way, I, like, okay, even though there's, like, a lot of shippable moments between these two, it, it feels more like, it, it's between, like, a, a best friend love versus, like, a sibling love. And not to the point where it's, like, the siblings are getting together, where it's just they really, truly care about each other. And they just want to have each other be happy and stuff. But at the same time, like, it's just like, dang, you just really feel bad for her because she's like, you're leaving and I'm never going to see you again. And, of course, anybody's going to be sad about that. Hell, I was sad about that every freaking season of Pretty Gear that I've watched. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a best friend love. That's it. They, because they they tried really hard with this. They're like, yeah, we're gonna put it together. I was like, no, like she's still just a kid. Yeah, it's cute moments between them, but it, it can't work. They just care about each other a lot. That's all. <laughs> I mean, seriously, for a Christmas episode, I mean, it was very you know typically like, mm, God, majority of the pretty here episodes for Christmas are fun this was fun slash romantic in a way probably the same thing that i thought of when i was a kid and i watched this i was like yeah it's romantic on this side but then it was also fun because of this but yeah i get the fact this is why nobody knows me and is upset and it's because yeah if i was her too i would be upset too it's literally like you know when you find out your friend is moving and that they're not gonna be with you moving on to maybe like junior high or high school or college or whatever and you know yeah you still get to call them on the phone but seeing them right then and there like it, it it's not gonna feel the same you rather have that than 
I'm a phone call away because it just doesn't feel the same. And everybody has that problems. I mean, I remember uh, someone who was a former military brat um, and had to move like every certain amount of years and such. Um, moving from here to Maryland back and forth and then moving from here to Nebraska for six years and then coming back here, um, it's up to you. Like, whoever you still have uh, ties with your friendships with and stuff. And, you know... Everybody has social media and you get to see them. You know, now we have it to the point where, yes, you can Skype call or Discord call or FaceTime or whatever, but it still sucks. I mean, we all know that these final four episodes that I got to watch, which is just like the last two weeks, um, we're going to see a lot more dark moments. I mean, I feel like it's going to be very similar to when we got to the halfway point of this show and such. But, you know, we just got to wait until we get there. But like, honestly, really rewatching this just reminds me of like the first time when I watched it and how I, I mean, you know, at that point in time of when this came out, we didn't know if this show was going to get a second season because typically, you know, it, it depended. And now, you know, every single year when we finish a season, we're like getting closer and closer to a newer season. And by October to December, we start getting those like first little hints and previews of what the following season will be. You're you're upset because you're like, I, I want to stay with these characters, but you know, you're happy because you get to see new characters. It's kind of how like, the only thing that I can instantly kind of compare this to is when I used to watch Doctor Who and I was like a big behind Doctor Who fan for the new series and such. And so when you um, meet the new actor or actress who portrays the Doctor for like how many years, you are instantly like they're likable, you like them a lot and stuff. And then there's a point where you get to find out that they're not coming back and it sucks. And you're like, okay, whoever is the next person who's going to play the Doctor, they have a lot of things, like, you know, um, to uphold and such. And then, you know, you see the new person, you're like, they're kind of likable, and then you start liking them, and then the whole cycle starts over again. I did that for, like, Doctors um, 8 to 12, and then also maybe the female Doctor, even though I barely watched it because I was super busy and I didn't have time to watch it. But it's like that with Pretty Cure because every year when we finish a season and we're going on to the next year, it, it's like, damn, we're not going to be able to see these girls anymore. And it's, it's even worse, especially with the fact is of the fact um, that they only take the most like current recent Pretty Cures and putting them in a movie together. They don't do the full all-star movie anymore because of the fact is, you know, number one, budget. Number two, getting all these voice actresses to come back and do new lines and everything even though they can they here's the thing yeah they got to come back and do new lines but like their old lines and stuff they can just use it because come on like i know every freaking studio has to have archives of every single episode and recording audios of a say you doing anything just in case they want to bring them that say you back for so many different reasons but when it comes to new lines yeah they got to go in there and record it but at the same time you're like dang like why can't you do it yeah budget money this is that and the third it could be because Toll just doesn't want to do it do it anymore which sucks because it's like Toei you've always been known for doing like the Pretty Cure crossovers with Pretty Cure all over every single freaking year and then when I think it was um Kira, like sometime after Kira Kira so between Hagato and um Star Twinkle that's when they started doing it and that was when I was like this ain't gonna be good for it. And so even though I haven't seen, um, I think the last all-star movie I watched, I think was specifically for Kira Kira. Um, I haven't watched any of the other, I've watched the, the mo their, the fall movies for everybody, except, um, that would probably just be Healing Good. Healing Good should be the only one that I haven't watched yet. And then, um, probably one more. So Healing Good and Star Twinkle should be the last two because 
I know for Star Twinkle, that was the last time Kita Kita was going to be in there and such. But, I mean, yeah, it's still good, but then at the same time, it still sucks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 44 and 45 of Yes, Pretty Cure 5. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreon. Um, yeah, next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else. For episodes 46 and 47. Bye guys.